and welcome back. So this is the fun nail design that we are going to be working on today. I'm going to show you how I incorporated all five of the Sensational Summer Colors, Ride the Wave, Teeny Bikini, Cabana Boy, Beat the Heat, and Sun Kissed. How we put them all together to make a beautiful, fun summer beach design. For this design, you're going to need to have your Sensational lamp, of course, your favorite Sensational colors. If you have the summer colors, that's all the better. You're also going to need makeup sponges. You'll also need to get some rhinestones of your choice. And you'll also need a quick dry top coat. I will be using the Seche Vite because I find it is the best to work with rhinestones. If you don't have gel polish and you want to use regular polish, you can still follow these steps. Instead of curing your polish in a lamp, you will just have to wait for them to completely dry in between. So, let's get this fun design started. The first thing that you need to do is have your makeup sponges that are already cut into quarters. Now I have alternated the colors on every finger. No two fingers are exactly the same. You will notice on my ring finger and also on my thumb that the dominant color is the Beat the Heat, the yellow. And on the other three colors, the dominant color is the Ride the Wave, the beautiful blue. The ring finger and the thumb I have put on the outside. The yellow and then on the other fingers the, the main color of the blue I've put on the inside so just stay tuned and you can see how I've sponged this on and put the accents together Now here is the catch when you're working with the gel polish. Because once gel polish is cured, it won't come off, you have got to make sure that you are working very cleanly. If you get the polish on your skin before you stick that finger in your lamp, you need to make sure that all of the polish is off of the skin. You will not be able to do regular cleanup after it's cured as you would a normal regular manicure. So I'm going to go ahead and sponge on all of these fingers. Then we're going to cure it in the lamp for about 15 seconds before we do our second coat. And this, this design here actually took me three coats to get it dark enough. So we're just going to cure it for 15 seconds in between each coat. Okay, now that we have all of our colors sponged on, you want to make sure that that third coat you cure in your Sensational Lamp for the full minute. Only 15 seconds in between coats, and when the last coat is on, the full minute. Now we're ready to add our accent colors. On the pinky, we're going to add the Ride the Wave. And what we're going to do is just paint this half of the nail Always make sure to cap the edge when you're working with gel polish. Now I already have a little bit of that gel set out on a plate and we're going to use a dotting tool to just draw in the little wave pattern. We want to draw two of those loops. Okay. And we're just going to continue with all of the nails curing for one minute in between each coat. OK, 
Okay, now that we've got our accent colors on there, let me just tell you that these, the main colors on each nail here, actually took three coats because we were trying to overlap a little bit with the sponge. So don't be surprised if it does take you an extra coat to get that the way you want it. And remember to cure for one minute in between. Now we're just going to take a little bit of that Seche V top coat that we had. We're going to add just a little round spot to these humps in the wave. We're going to wet our dotting tool and then we're going to pick up our rhinestones that we already have laying out on the plate and pop them right in the center of those two waves. We're going to do this on each finger and let it dry and we'll be right back. And now that that top coat is dry and those rhinestones are set in place, we are just going to go over the whole thing with our Sensational Gel Top Coat. Now you want to move around your jewels very slowly to make sure that no air bubbles get in there as you move that gel over top of your jewels. And you want to make sure that you have a good amount so that it will seal over them. If you do this the right way, you should be able to get a minimum of seven days out of those jewels and most of the time I get the full two week manicure out of my jewels before they start to come off. So just go slowly, make sure they're covered well and then cure it in your lamp as usual except instead of the 30 seconds I usually go a minute on this step just for a little added protection. Hope you ladies enjoyed this design and we'll see you next time.